Hey guys, it's Steph here. I'm just walking back to my greenhouse. On the side of my greenhouse, I have some Macrophylla hydrangeas, um, also known as mop head or big leaf. Um, today, I'm just gonna be protecting some of the hydrangeas that I need to for winter time. Kind of let you know which ones I would recommend protecting and which ones that you really don't need to worry about. I'm gonna keep this video super simple. It's not a lot to it. Um, I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna cover them. But the ones that you wanna protect, especially in my zone 6B climate, if you're in a five or a four, definitely, actually a four isn't really gonna pertain to you. Maybe you could get away with it if you plant these hydrangeas in a protected spot nestled in a corner around a structure and then you protect them maybe you could plant in a zone four but these ones really are a zone five to zone nine so the ones that i'm going to protect are the ones that bloom on old wood which means they formed their bud in the previous season's growth these ones are the macrophyllas the big leaves and the oak leaf hydrangeas they bloom on old wood um, they start to form their buds right after blooming and around august they're kind of ready to go the ones you don't need to worry about are the paniculata hydrangeas they bloom on new wood and the smooth hydrangeas um, some examples of those are the annabelles the incredibles the limelights there's a million different types of paniculata strawberry sundae I'm trying to think of another one that i love limelight prime is a few that i have in my yard so i have two oak leaf hydrangeas and three mop heads that i'm going to protect today i want to give you an example of these buds that have already formed i have this in a nice spot they're sheltered next to my shed so they're going to be pretty protected here but i definitely want to take some extra precaution so right here is that cute little terminal bud and as you can see they form high up on the stems so they're pretty vulnerable um, this is an ever blooming one which means it actually produces blooms on new ones and old ones but i find that there's more buds on the old ones and i want to make sure that these are nice and safe they look good right now i am kind of a little bit late doing this i had to do it for one of my subscribers she really wanted to see this so and then there's another one right here down there if you can see those cute little guys I have three of them right here. So basically all I'm gonna do, um, I use some of my tomato cage wires. Just get some cheap chicken wire at Lowe's or Home Depot. There's so many different ways you can go about this. I think it would be okay to use garbage bags, fill up some garbage bags with leaves and kind of surround the plant. Um, I haven't done that before, but my neighbor has a crepe myrtle over there. They don't belong in our zone. They're zone seven, we're zone six. We're really on that borderline. And so kind of around her house, it's protected. And she puts garbage bags around it and it does really, really well. But you really wanna protect these um, butts. So all I'm gonna do is get this chicken wire and then I am gonna fill it. You could fill it with leaves. I'm gonna actually use straw. I just like the idea of straw a little bit more. It dries a little bit better. It doesn't seem to mush up like leaves. So I think it's gonna be a safe bet. I actually put these right here to protect my snapdragons because they're a zone seven to get them to winter over but i love using straw it's super cheap it was like 13 bucks somebody told me that's really expensive but it's a great insulator leaves are a good insulator so that's all i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and fill these cages up and just cover them <laughs> here is my oak leaf it's a little bit harder to recognize the buds on this one but right here is one sorry i'm trying to get the best shot i possibly can it's a little bit more furry so there's two right here. So that really is right on the tip of these. And then there's another one right here. I think, wait, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to find all these buds. There's one right there. There's one, two, where are some other ones? Three. Oh, this has three buds on a tiny little plant. Oh, four. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get like five. This was a first year plant. That's pretty exciting. Here's my last one. I only have five that I've got to protect this year. That number is definitely gonna grow. I haven't even gotten to the west side of my flower beds i wanted to add a bunch more hydrangeas definitely going to be worth it i hate it when you lose buds that you're so excited for you wait nine months you wait all winter long and then you don't get any it is absolutely disappointing this year it's really manageable because they're so little it's going to be really easy but as they get bigger which they are going to get those oak leaves get fairly large about six to eight feet tall and the one behind me is a dwarf about four to five feet tall i'm gonna maybe use a different method like wrap them with burlap or some frost cloth uh, winter cloth i don't know what they call it exactly it's online um, and then i'll just go ahead and wrap them around fill them again with some leaves um, the leaves are just such great mulch anyway and they kind of decompose the straw not so much um, in the future though when they are bigger and i'm wrapping them i'll use the leaves most likely i know does it really matter <laughs> no they're both really effective 
This is my limelight. It blooms on new wood, so it's a paniculata. It didn't have any problems this winter. It bloomed just nicely. I think the only thing I might do with this one is protect it with some heavy mulch. I may or may not do that. My Incredibles did great and I did absolutely nothing to them. They're just so great. They really don't form their buds until after the threat of frost has passed. Just really low maintenance. The only issue with them sometimes is the watering. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill those containers with the straw. You guys, this is only gonna take me probably a total of maybe five minutes. So if you think it's a pain in the butt, it really isn't. You guys can totally do it. I love the mop heads and the oak leaves so much. They just bring blooms that are so different than the paniculatas. I just like to have contrast of every type of hydrangea because I'm a hydrangea lover, if you haven't noticed. Guys, I switched location on you. Um, anyways, when there is a will, there is a way. I try to make things work in my climate just by doing these little extra steps. All right, they are finished. All I did was grab some of the straw and I just loosely tossed it in there. Um, you just wanna make sure your container is enclosed enough to where your straw's not gonna fall out. I know that's pretty common sense, but just made sure they were covered. I think the most important tip I would give you here is make sure you don't <laughs> uncover the hydrangeas too early. So this year we had a late frost around June, which is super late, not typical, um, but those blooms would have started to come out. At that point, they're so vulnerable that the frost would have just zapped them and that would have been so unfortunate after a long winter of protection. Um, typically it's okay when the ground starts softening and um, the temperatures are starting to rise at night, maybe around beginning of May. Um, our weather is so different sometimes, so I'm just gonna have to check the forecast mid-May, kind of when you're starting to plant some of your colder crops, stuff like that. But I'll just play it by ear and see what happens. If it does start to warm up and then all of a sudden there's gonna be a really weird late frost, then I'll go ahead and protect them again. I think I'm gonna have to water them a little bit if we have a dry winter. Anyways, they've got their nice little winter blanket today. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any comments, um, let me know. Put them down below. Hit the subscribe button and I will talk to you later. Have a great day, Gardy. Bye.